Let's solve the title of one of the most uh, famous books of all time, uh, not nearly as close to the Bible by a factor of affinity, but uh, still a popular book, War and Peace. Everything is for the glory of Jesus, equals 8 at 8. We read in Ecclesiastes 3, verse 6, a time of war and a time of peace. And um, that is absolutely true um, spiritually. Um, there's a time to do battle with uh, the spiritual hosts, and then there's a whole lot of time where you just get to rest in peace and the joy of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. So war and peace is for the glory of Jesus. Look, they're a divinely orchestrated pair, war and peace. Here's the three flute. You combine them, and you get this perfect result, which is a three-digit all-factor eight number that divides by eight doubly to the glory of Jesus equals eight at eight. Their final letters are the same. They share two of the same letters. Look, here's this letter, and look, here's that letter. And uh, they finish the same. They are an ordained pair from the mind of God, war and peace. Everything that has ever happened in the history of the world, including war and peace, ultimately gets taken for the glory of Jesus equals eight at eight. Uh, but most importantly, there is a war because there is an enemy whose name is Satan, and there is a war because your soul is at stake. Uh, here's a cover of the book, War and Peace, by Leo Tolstoy. One of the reasons why this book is so successful is because it mathematically glorifies Jesus and the combination of the words war and peace. And um, furthermore, yeah, know that the reason there is war is because of this dude right here. This dude right here, um, whose name is mathematically pathetic. Um, he is ugly. He's, um, you know, completely your enemy. He's stupid compared to God. And um, you have power over him as soon as you receive Jesus Christ as Lord. It's that simple. You receive Jesus as Lord and you have power over this guy. You have power to rebuke him. You have power to rebuke all of his minions. You have power to um, to absolutely cut, you know, cut the guy in pieces if he ever comes at you. So receive Jesus today and I recommend our entire country uh, receive Jesus so that uh, people have power uh, over hatred and all the uh, lust of the devil. In Jesus' name, amen.